Hi everybody. I thought I would bring you a plant ID video today um, for a plant that you can find all across the United States. And um, I see people ask in my plant groups all the time what it is. And I also see people respond to those questions by saying, oh my God, it will spread its seeds everywhere, get it before it seeds, pull it out of your garden, it's invasive, I hate this plant. And uh, I kind of have some qualms with that. So I wanted to talk about this plant. Um, it is common vetch, or Vizia sativa. Um, so it looks like this, you've probably seen it before. It's really common here in Asheville and in the Appalachian Mountains. It's got these pretty little purple flowers. They almost look like the tiniest of little iris flowers or they're really pretty pinkish purple fuchsia colored flowers. I really like them. I don't know why people hate this in their garden um, because I think they add some beauty in there, just a common weed and who doesn't love to get um, beauty out of a common weed? So this is the common vetch and it's in the Fabiaceae family, which is the pea family or the legume family. And um, it makes peas. You do not want to eat them, um, but it does make peas. And it's like a sprawling plant. So it's root bases down here where I pulled it out and it just sprawls and spreads around, uh, around the ground. And it has these like lance-like leaves. They're alternate, they're very, they're alternate on the stem. You can see the leaves come off alternate. Um, and yeah, it just kind of sprawls. It has little tendrils where it could climb stuff like peas do. And um, when it matures, it will get these green legume pods on it. You can see them. And when those seed pods mature to mature seeds, they will turn black like this and then they'll open up and they'll drop their seeds and it's an annual. Um, so if you pull it before it seeds, you won't have it in your garden anymore. I mean, there'll probably be some seeds. You'll have to pull it consecutive years in a row to not have it in your garden. Um, but if you pull it and before it seeds, you won't have it in your garden, it's an annual. Um, but I think you should leave it in your garden. And the reason why I think you should leave it in your garden is because it's a nitrogen fixing plant. All your peas and your beans, so your green beans, your snow peas, all your peas that you grow or your beans you grow in your, in your garden are great because they're nitrogen fixing. And wild peas are the same thing, which is what common vetch is. And I wanted to show you, I pulled up the roots. I'm gonna actually just put these back in my garden, let the seeds fall down and do their thing. Maybe even open up some of these mature seed pods and put them back in the garden. Um, and let them, and I'm just gonna turn them under and let them do their thing. And that's because they're nitrogen fixing. So I wanted to show you what a nitrogen fixing plant looks like in the root. And um, because I think it's really pretty cool. And I don't know if you can see it on this one. This one might be a little hard. I may need to get another root. Yeah, let me see, because the camera and all this nice, almost golden hour light out here is not really our friend right now. Yeah, so let me get one that's, get these roots that are a little bit bigger. So if you see, let's see if the camera can focus. This is a good example. You see this little nodule right above my fingers? Let's see, let's move this back right above my fingers that little thing sticking off the root right here um and it and in my lights here in natural light it actually looks a little bit white and they will look a little bit white those little nodules on the roots when you pull them up are where the plant um where the plant stores all that nitrogen it like fixes nitrogen it stores the nitrogen um in its roots in these little root nodules and then it's an annual so it dies it dies once it flowers and it seeds and it produces fruit, it dies. And the, but all that nitrogen stays in your soil. And there's nitrogen in the green parts of the plant too. Um, and lots of good minerals and healthy stuff in the green parts of the plant. So my qualm is with the people that say, pull this out of your yard. Do not pull this out of your yard. Don't pull it out of your garden. I mean, obviously if it's climbing a plant and it's choking a plant in your garden, get it out. 
but if it's not hurting anything, if it's just sprawling out on the ground around plants and it's not hurting anything, A, it's pretty. It has those gorgeous little purple blooms I was showing you and it looks pretty and the green foliage is pretty. So let it be because it's pretty and let it be because it's nitrogen fixing. Let it go to seed so you get more of it the next year. And once it goes to seed and it's done doing its thing and it dies back, just turn it under. Turn it under and your plants around it, that are planting plants around it or, or the plants that are already around it that require a lot of high nutrients and dense nutrients um, will totally benefit from this. So your tomatoes would benefit from this. Artichokes would benefit from this. Um, any of your super corn would benefit from this and it could climb up the corn and corn wouldn't care about this plant growing up of it growing up it in fact um a lot of farmers or ranchers will use this as animal fodder and it's green manure it's nitrogen fixing so it's green manure it's just as good as cow as any animal manure but um but it's green so it's vegan manure uh, so yeah, that's common vetch and that's what it looks like in the pea family, um, Fabiaceae family, and you don't want to get rid of it. So yeah, y'all have a good day. Have a good weekend. Um, for those of you who have gone back to work, have a good weekend, but stay safe. All right. See y'all soon.